Hey guys, welcome to another segment of Top App Zach here and Salamat Burpwasa to all our Gadget Nation viewers. Now today we've got some app developers in who have made some interesting apps for this season and they're from Digital Arc Malaysia. So please introduce yourselves. Hi, my, my name is Arif. Um, I'm the founder and CEO of Digital Arc. And? Hi, my name is Muhammad Alif. I am the UX and UI designer for all the apps we develop. So the first app we're looking at is Iftar, correct? Yes. So what's so special about it? What can you tell me about this app? I can say that Iftar is the most beautiful apps uh, we've developed for Muslim applications. And what does Iftar does is it provides uh, Iftar timing, prayer times and Qiblat direction. And I can say that it is one of the most accurate um, prayer times available in the store. Um, we don't use um, Rather than using uh, Apple Maps, we use Google Maps uh, to get the location because uh, most of the developers they are using for Apple uh, devices are uh, using Apple Maps and Apple Maps have some issues on certain nations and for example I can say I'm staying in Putra Heights but Apple Maps will say I'm in Damansara so it has uh, a, a different time timing and directions. Yeah. Right, so I know that you've developed first for iOS. Yes. So was that an issue, bringing in Google Maps onto iOS? Yeah, there, there were some difficulties uh, initially, but uh, we managed to go through that. Managed to no work problem, around, yes. yes. Right. And for Android, uh, no problem. For Android, no problem. For Android, no problem. So uh, it's out on iOS now. Yes. Uh, Android, very, very soon. Yes. Any plans for Windows Phone? I know it's difficult to develop for Windows Phone, but yeah. any plans there? If time is given, inshallah, it will come out on Windows Phone. After you release the app, it's been out for how long now on iOS? It's been a week now. So, so what's the reception been like? Any criticisms, any praises? What are people really looking at? People are commenting that it has a very good uh, design, um, very user-friendly, very, very simple. Yeah, talking about the design, so we got the lead designer here. Yeah. Uh, you guys went for this really clean and modern look for, for the design, it, rather than a traditional look. Is yeah. there a reason for this? Uh, were you going for a specific market audience here? Well, in digital art, we try to keep things simple so that the, the objective of the apps is rich. I mean, for the IFTA, if you look at the, the countdown, we emphasize on the time only, whereas some, some of the other elements like location and prayer times is also included. So basically, we try to make it uh, as flat as possible due to IL7 design, right? right? Yeah. Okay. This, this trend, like you guys have gone into uh, apps specifically for Muslim apps, right? So you guys, what have you made before this? Like, uh, what's your history in app development? We started the company as a game developer. Game developer? Okay. True, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a while back then. But then uh, things changed and Arif came in as the CEO and marketing partner. So it looks like uh, Malaysia needs more on apps rather than games. So we try to push apps first and then move on to games later. So for the IFTA app, uh, what's the user experience like? What's the process people will go through when using the app? And also, what can they do with the app specifically? As my design app said, we've uh, designed it very simple. So what people do, uh, their experience would be to view the time, the countdown timer, to see uh, you, you, you click left or right to see the prayer times, and also to use as a compass, oh, as a keyblad compass. So that's using geolocation, correct? Geolocation, yes. And that's basically it. And other than that would be people can choose their own choices of azan. Right, okay. Uh, that would be it. So they can customize yeah. the, the sound that actually plays. Yes. And right. every time it, uh, it reaches the azan time, it will azan and notify the user. Right. Yeah. So in the home, this will be used like on the dinner table and yes. stuff like that. Yes. This so. is uh, what we've, we've been thinking about iftar. But last time was when we were slightly younger, our mom used to say, check the TV, has it azan or not? <laughs> but nowadays, just put your app in the middle of the table and 
wait until the timer hits zero, and then azan, it's time for iftar, berbuka. Right, right. and yeah. this would also be useful because it's on mobile, you can use yes. it in restaurants, restaurants and outside, but there is no TV anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that pretty much covers it for iftar app, which is available now on Android and iOS, and possibly soon Windows Phone, but we'll see about that. And we're gonna have to say goodbye to these wonderful developers for now, shame about that, but we'll see them again next week, and you'll see me again next week very, very soon.